Okay, so you've decided to order some landscape edging, but you're not quite sure how to measure your space. Well, don't worry because in this super quick video, we're gonna show you exactly how to measure your space for your Buta landscape edging. This is Sam, Buta's resident landscaper. Sam, can you help us measure our space? I sure can. All right, let's do it. So here are four easy steps to measure your landscaping so that you can install your Buta blocks. Step one, you're gonna measure your space. And here's what you'll need. You'll need a measuring tape, a piece of paper, and a pen. So there are two types of landscape designs. You have your traditional straight design and the more complex curved design. Take a look at your landscape design and decide which one you have. So let's take a look at our space since we have a more straight design. So here we're gonna do a two foot wide garden bed from in front of our shisha. So we happen to have a couple of landscape spikes laying around. So we're gonna use this to plot out our measurements for our bed. Just as a side note, this is just the way I would do it. You don't necessarily have to do it the same. I have paint and I have string. It all depends on what you have on hand. So I'm gonna mark it at two feet. I'm gonna put my spike here. Okay, so I'm going to start out by making another two feet out here from the shed. I'm gonna put my other spike in. I'm about two foot right there. And again, I'll reiterate, you don't have to use the spikes. I just tend to make life a little bit easier. So, I got my spikes in, so what I'm going to do, using string does make this a whole heck of a lot easier. So, what I like to do is I like to tie And now make sure it's taut. So as I walk, to right about there, and this will make life a lot easier. So, move it around. Don't tie a knot on this one. Make it taut again. Come around. Give yourself a little bit of a slack to deal with. And tie your knot. And that should give you about a good starting point to make your straight 90 degree bed. So now we're gonna measure the length and the width of our bed. I'm getting about 13 feet, about 10 inches. So that was about 165 inches. So now let's do this side. All right, now we're gonna measure our length this way. We got about 98 inches this way. Step two, gather your measurements. So it does help to draw your design as you go so that you can keep track of your measurements. For curved designs, I highly recommend using either string or rope to map out your designs. Once you have your string in the design that you want, you want to pull it taut and measure that length. So just keep in mind that after you get your measurements for your curved design, they're going to be more approximate than the straight bed designs. So step three is you're going to determine your total length. This is where you'll get the total number of four foot sections and any function blocks needed. Our Buta block sections are approximately 46.75 inches in length. Our function blocks are approximately 7.25 inches long. Our brick sections are approximately 47.25 inches in length. Our function bricks are approximately 8 inches in length. Our block XL sections are about 46 inches in length. And finally, our function block XLs are about 7 inches in length. Just to note, these measurements are also approximate due to the natural design of the blocks so they will have some taller or wider points in some area. You want to account for function blocks such as starts, ends, rights, and left turns. Identify the start point and the end point and account for any areas where you want to add corners. For any odd lengths, use extender blocks to cover that extra bit of ground. For more information on function blocks, check out the video linked below. 
Here is a visual representation of the area where we plan to install our Buda landscape edging. First, we will figure out which spots will require function blocks and account for those measurements. We do this first because we already know for sure where we'll be adding corners, as well as where we are starting and ending our project. The amount of sections we'll need will be determined by how much length is left after we've accounted for function blocks. Our first area of length totals about 26 inches and will be made up fully of function blocks, specifically a start block and two extender blocks. No full sections will be needed here because the length is shorter than four feet. Our second area of length totals 165 inches and will begin with the face of a left turn block, which is about seven inches long, and end with the side of a second left turn block, which is four inches long. Our third area of length is 98 inches long and we'll also begin with the seven inch face of a left turn block and end with the four inch side of a left turn block. Our final area of length totals to about 21 inches and will be made up completely of function blocks, including the seven inch long face of our last left turn block, an extender block, and an end block. No full sections will be needed here either because the length is shorter than four feet. Now that we have our function blocks mapped out, we'll subtract our function block lengths from the total lengths. Our first length is 165 inches minus 11.25 inches of function block length, giving us 153.75 inches. Our second length is 98 inches minus 11.25 inches of function block length, giving us 86.75 inches. Finally, we can divide these numbers by 48 inches, or 4 feet, since that is the length of a single section of our landscape edging. 153.75 divided by 48 is 3.2, and 86.75 divided by 48 is 1.8. Since this measurement is approximate, we'll round these numbers to 3 and 2, meaning we'll need a total of 5 sections. Altogether, our project will require 3 left turns, 3 extenders, 1 start, 1 end, and 5 total sections. Go to www.buta.com to select your color and your size. Then select your total number of function blocks and sections needed. And finally, just wait for your order to arrive. If you have any questions or you need any help designing your space, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always happy to help and we really want you to love your Buta. I'm Anna. And I'm Sam. And we're so excited to see your landscape transform.